Oh man, I think it was. Ooh, excuse me, I think it was like ninety six, ninety seven. Either it was early ninety seven or late ninety six. But we were uh, we were going to the Busta Rhymes concert. And that's when I was taking this girl I was dating at the time, and. Me and her weren't really super close. You know, this is like the rebound chick. Because I just came out of a crazy breakup. That I was really, really like thinking this was the main girl. And you know, that when that go left, you got to try to grab the rebound girlfriend. And that was the one I was with. So, I was just dealing with it. And all she heard me do really at this time was bitch about my ex. <laughs> <laughs> so that's about the whole thing she heard for about every day of the relationship was that. Uh, that's what she would be. Same thing. You know what's something else about her? You know, so I wouldn't to say I wasn't a good boyfriend was an understatement. But in her estimate, he's cute, he got a six pack, he drives his own car, keeps his hair cut. So <laughs> That was about the extent of her relationship with me. Completely sexual. And physical attractions only. Nothing else really existed. So we sitting there and we got this. Uh, and at that time I had really probably never had a drink. Probably like maybe once or twice did I ever drink. One time it was like at a wedding. And here it is. We getting ready to go out to this thing. And they give me this. And it's like, you got to try it. It's got very little alcohol. It's called a fuzzy navel. I'm like, a fuzzy navel? I'm tasting it. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I can't really taste any alcohol. So I had like two of those. <laughs> That's it. Just two. I'm like, this is good. I have another one. Took two. Next thing you know, I get to the, uh, we on our way to the show the actual concert i forgot who all performed that night but man it's so loud and in my head it's like i'm a step behind for some reason i'm whoa that fuzzy navel yeah i couldn't taste the alcohol but it was definitely something in there because this is hitting and i'm like whoa every time i look it takes about a half second for the picture to come into place Wow, this is not good. <laughs> so I'm saying this to myself in my head. I'm sitting there, right, and then flip mode come out, bust around, do it. So he's doing his thing, and Buster's so animated, and he's all this was skinny busted in. He was ah with the dreads everywhere, and we had front row seats to the whole event. And everybody's like, man, y'all got front row seats. I'm like, yep, yeah, we knew a guy who knew a guy who knew a guy. So <laughs> we sit in front row at this thing. And during this concert, Buster decides to take off not only his pants, but his drawers. And I swear to you, it's like he took his unit out. And laid it on my girl's forehead. I, sw I, I That's what I saw. It looked like that's exactly what he did. She claimed that did not happen. I'm like, I know what I saw. <laughs> it's like he was... Rah, 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 then he dropped his pants. Pulled out his unit. Which was about the size of my arm. And laid it on her head. And I'm like, whoa. Wow. Did, just, did this just happen? She's like, that did not happen. But he did pull his pants down and pull his thing out. That's a weird conversation in the car ride home. And I'm like, did he put his private on your hand? <laughs> Serious, if anybody remember and you're from Chicago, 
If you remember that concert with Buster Rhymes, 96, 97, please tell me, am I losing my mind or did that not happen? He pulled out his, you know what, the whole thing and put it on my girl's forehead. Let me know right now because I swear to you something like that just happened that night in 19, was it 1996 or 97? Y'all let me know. I'm out.